Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Andrew, and welcome and good morning uh, to you all. I acknowledge the traditional owners of the land and pay my respects to their elders, past and present. I acknowledge our guest of honour, Her Excellency Professor Mary Bashir, ACCVO, who is here in her capacity as the Administrator of the Government of the Commonwealth of Australia. I thank you, Your Excellency, for being here, especially whilst you are assuming the duties of the Governor of Australia, Governor General of Australia. I acknowledge the Minister for Tertiary Education, the Honourable Chris Bowen, who is the key speaker at this conference, as well as Mr John Robertson, uh, leader of the New South Wales Opposition. Both gentlemen are scheduled to join us a little later. I acknowledge my colleagues here, Walt Secord and Gansingari, uh, and thank them for being with us uh, today. I welcome our panel, a panel of distinguished guest speakers, and I'm truly honoured, truly honoured by their calibre and commitment. I wish to extend my sincere gratitude and appreciation to the Vice Chancellor and President of the University of Technology Sydney, Mr. Ross Milbourne, as well as the Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Social Science, Mr. Theo Van Leeuwen, the Deputy Dean who is here with us, Jim McNamara, and the Cosmopolitan Civil Society Research Centre at UTS, in particular, uh, Professor Andrew Jakovitz and Ms. Vic, uh, Vicky Bamford. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first ever multicultural media conference at New South Wales Parliament. I am delighted and honoured by the great interest and the overwhelming response this conference has generated. The event was booked out within a week of being advertised. As I look around this theatre, this theatre I take great pride in welcoming such a diverse uh, audience from esteemed dignitaries, my parliamentary colleagues, multicultural and indigenous journalists, community leaders, academics, and university representatives. Following the success of the first ever Multicultural Media Awards in Australia, I knew there was much more to do and a bigger story to tell. In September 2012, I launched the first Multicultural Media Awards with over 200 multicultural indigenous journalists and guests from across Australia participating. This was the first time, the first time in over 118 years of multicultural journalism in Australia that a standalone awards initiative acknowledged and celebrated the various forms of ethnic media and the talented and dedicated people behind them. With nearly one in four Australians born overseas, ethnic media plays a unique and important role in capturing information from both Australia and overseas and successfully translating the information in ways which mainstream media can never do. Ethnic media has created its own niche because it's community-based and targets specific people with specific community messages. So ladies and gentlemen, I cannot begin to tell you how honoured I am to be welcoming, welcoming you here to the launch of our inaugural Multicultural Media Conference. This conference is not only about multicultural media as institutions, but it's about the role they play in nurturing the very institutions of democracy and in a global society satisfying our hunger for information. Key to today's conference is understanding ethnic media and its transformation from what it used to be known as the foreign media and as it was known then to a multicultural media as it is known today. So today's conference is about understanding the past as well as understanding the future, the future challenges and opportunities. This conference is also about <coughs> recognising and celebrating the achievements of remarkable journalists committed to the survival of Australia's multicultural and indigenous media. These journalists are at the forefront of multiculturalism. They keep multicultural Australia informed and up to date and they bring communities together and break down social barriers and, so and cultural barriers. As guest speaker at the 2012 Multicultural Media Awards, Senator the Honourable Bob Carr had this to say, it's great to see multicultural media getting the attention it deserves. I believe it is essential to Australian democracy. And he adds, multicultural media plays a key role in merging international cultures into the Australian identity. So ladies and gentlemen, 
I hope that you will finish, that you will find each presentation interesting, informative, and insightful. I hope by the time we conclude, by the time we conclude this afternoon, we would have come away with more answers and ideas than problems and questions about the value of ethnic journalists and the future of multicultural media in Australia. I hope that academics will think about introducing a unit or two as part of their arts or journalism degree. I hope that unions, unionists amongst us will go away and, and form Multicultural Media Journalist Union of Australia. I hope by the end of the day, governments and non-government organisations will pay a little more attention to the valuable role that multicultural media play in the dissemination of information to migrant communities that are now part and parcel of mainstream Australia. I hope that governments and oppositions and crossbenchers will recognise that government advertising is key to survival and will make fair and equi equi equitable annual multicultural media budget allocations. So I hope by the end of, the, uh, end of today, multicultural media will no longer be at a crossroads of life or death. With your support, ladies and gentlemen, the path to a brighter and prosperous future can be mapped out and the survival of multicultural media guaranteed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, before I call on Her Excellency Professor Mary Bashir to kindly come to the stage to deliver her address, I'd like to read out a little of her bio. Professor Mary Bashir, the first woman to be appointed Governor of New South Wales, took up her office on the 1st of March 2001. Born of Lebanese descent in Narendra in the Riverina dist uh, district of New South Wales and educated at Narendra Public School and Sydney Girls High School. Her Excellency gained her bachelor degrees in medicine and surgery in 1956 from the University of Sydney. She taught at the University of Sydney and New South Wales and worked in children's services, psychiatry and mental health services, as well as in indigenous health programs. At the time of the, her appointment as governor of New South Wales, Her Excellency was clinical professor of psychiatry at the University of Sydney a post she took up in 1993, Area Director of Mental Health Service Centre, uh, Central Sydney from 1994, and Senior Consultant to the Aboriginal Medical Services, Redfern, from 1996 to the Aboriginal Medical Services, Kempsey. Ladies and gentlemen, before I introduce uh, Her Excellency, I re realised that um, it's uh, uh, a few words, uh, Mr. Jim McNamara, Deputy uh, faculty of the uh, Faculty of Arts would like to say a few words and have the pleasure of also introducing Her Excellency, Mr. Jim McNamara. 